Night time turns out to be the best time to count mountain hares. In South Yorkshire and Derbyshire, gamekeepers are helping to uncover the truth about the number of the animals in the Peak District. Shooting estates reintroduced mountain hares to the Peak District in the 1800s. Since then, they have become a much loved sight in this moorland area of South Yorkshire. For the last 200 years, gamekeepers have kept the numbers at a sustainable level. Since the 1980s, scientists moved in on the counting until now. Richard Bailey is the coordinator of the Peak District Moorland Group. He says previous counts have been flawed. The previous um, population estimates um, wasn't carried out over all of the um, habitats that the hares um, in the Peak District. So some of the sporting estates um, weren't included on previous reports. Um, you know, it's an isolated population at the end of the day. Peaks and troughs are natural. Um, there's many factors which affect hares, as we know, parasites, predation, disturbance, um, road casualties, all of the rest of it and it all makes up to affecting the population on the ground. It's not just mountain hares. Scientists and gamekeepers disagree about the best way to count other animals. Neil Rowantree is a Scottish deer manager. The deer themselves aren't reading the deer plans. They're, they're a highly intelligent, competent grazing browsing unit that's adapting to habitats and climate. I think deer, unfortunately, in the last decade or so have become intensely political. And, it, and it's no longer purely about the welfare of the species or its environment, it's about its influences on land use and other people's desired land use. And, and uh, you can see people saying, you know, if we had X number of deer reduced from Scotland, then we could drive so many more road miles, which was put forward by uh, Environmental Link and the John Muir Trust recently. And then at the other end of the spectrum, you've got people who are involved in deer commercially who are bitterly lamenting the, the loss of collaborative deer management and, and uh, mature stag populations. So the, the whole thing about the numbers, numbers are fine. Where are you going? Where have you come from? And what do you want from them? Mountain hares are nocturnal, so it made sense to count them at night. Gamekeepers across 16 grouse moor estates counted them in the Dark Peak area. Gamekeepers on the Fitzwilliam Wentworth estate in South Yorkshire are among the members of the Peak District Moorland Group taking part in the count. So we come out on a night time to do the counts um, and we marked out a block on the moor uh, and we did transit counts so it was four lines um, with lamps and also our thermal uh, imaging equipment. It was good, it was exciting, um, you know I know we've got a lot of hares on the area uh, and it was nice to see them and get that evidence across. One happy outcome is that the gamekeeper's results reveal the number of mountain hares is much higher than previous scientific estimates. Yeah, so in areas, you know, it's two to five times um, greater than the counts that were predetermined um, from other analysis in the Peak District. Um, it was no surprise to the people on the ground. You know, we are seeing hares all of the time whilst at work. Um, but it was good to get the data crunched and um, to see, you know, a figure come out. I think it came out at 52 to 126 hares um, per kilometre squared, which is in, in similar to uh, populations in Scotland in their core areas. I wasn't surprised, to be honest with you. You know, working up here every day, I knew the hares were here. We, we, we see the hares, so it was no surprise at all. Counting can be controversial, as the figures aren't always black and white. Knowing the number of animals on an area of land can help in managing them and their home. So the whole principle has been to get a handle on what's happening with the population, but more importantly to monitor trend. It's all well and good to know how many deer, but where are you going? Is your population going up? Is your population going down? For more on this, go to the Peak District Moreland Group's Facebook page.